Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Season 39, War Number 2. Today we're taking on FNG, Furious Gods. And I'm not going to lie, this is a bit of a rough one for me, as I'm sure you've guessed from the title of the video. So today my team is going to be Hulkling, Overseer, and Nebula. So I've goofed off with Overseer a bit in like story content here and there and side quests and whatnot. But this is my first time using him for something serious. Very unfamiliar with him, uh, and it goes pretty sideways as you're going to see in a few moments. But first up, we have this Silver Surfer on Node 15, and the goal here with Hulkling is really just to kill him before he, he can possibly uh, convert his cosmic power buff into an armor up, because if he gets spaced armor, then it becomes a little bit just, not, not difficult, but just, you know, more lengthy, I guess. So we're going to try and get the SP2 off before he can fire off a special one here. We're close to two bars, hit into his block. There we go, unblockable SP2. Uh, only one crit, that sucks. And then he converts the cosmic power into a power gain, so we avoided the armor up, and then another, another couple hits gets him down. All right, next up we have an Ebony Maw on node 20, and uh, this is my first death in Master's War. This is a very difficult fight. I'm gonna go in here with Overseer, as you can see. So again, unfamiliar with Overseer, uh, not very good with him also. Uh, DL actually offered to take this fight with Doom, uh, and I, I declined because I, I didn't really want to appear as though I was running away from a, a fight or a challenge or whatever. So so the deal here is with Masochism, it's going to be triggering quite often because Overseer as a science champ has a lot of debuffs. Uh, the other problem in this fight is, you know, you have to you have to limit your combos because of strike counter. If you, if you let Maw get too many Furies, he, it gets really gnarly really fast. Uh, but the biggest problem that I have in this fight is that I'm really unable to out-damage the regen. And that's because when I finally do get uh, a chance to trigger Cosmic Mode, which is where uh, all of Overseer's damage comes from, I end up wasting pretty much the entirety of Cosmic Mode trying to bait out a special from Ma here. So you can see, you know, we, we are essentially doing, like, no damage. We're, we're over a minute into the fight here, and he is just healed back to a full yellow bar here. And meanwhile, I'm just, like, putzing around doing short combos, finally trigger cosmic mode so i'm like okay finally i get some chance for some damage here trying to bait out this special one here and cosmic mode just ticking down we, we push him over to uh, special two from the fury buff there uh you know not taking a lot of damage but then falter hits right after he throws the special so here we go we've got like five seconds left on cosmic mode finally get a, a decent chunk of damage in but nope just kidding cosmic mode is now over and now I have to start pretty much all over again. So, you know, again, here we're, we're almost two minutes into the fight, and I, I don't even have him half down. So at some point uh, here, I I, I kind of just start to, like, panic. I, not panic, but, like, you know, I realize that I'm I'm either going to time out or, or something bad is going to happen. So I, I try and just speed up the fight a bit. Uh, the falter is triggering. We've got Black Tongue on us here, so the falter is going to be happening more frequently now. And, uh, yeah, so it's just completely sideways. Um, nothing, nothing seemingly went right for me here. About to take another special two on the block here. Falter just all the time. Just, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I was extremely nervous about this fight going in. Uh, I did what I was supposed to do. I prepped, I dueled. Uh, one thing that I probably could have been doing better is, um, I was not comfortable with the spacing on heavy countering the special one. Uh, half the time when I would try it in practice, Overseer would whiff, so I was not confident in doing it uh, during this fight. You can see I, I accidentally triggered D-Gen there, so, you know, yeah, it's pretty much over there. I triggered D-Gen again, so there we go. Combos me, and uh, first death, a, a pretty bad one. I was, um, I was extremely upset about this. And in fact, you can see I just kind of sit here staring at the KO screen for a while knowing that the uh, the streak is over uh, before I reported it in our line chat and whatnot so so yeah lots of uh, lots of things I think to take away and learn from that fight uh, going forward but in the meantime onward and upward we have a uh, Penny Parker up here on node 31 an unduped Penny Parker and uh, this is a pretty vanilla fight here my first light attack input drops so Hulkling just stands there takes a combo so now I gotta heal up after this fight which is annoying uh, yeah, nothing nothing in the nodes here that's going to prevent me from doing my standard hulking rotation here. So build up to just under two bars of power. Wait for the shape shift charges to build up. Bait out the special one here. Try not to get stuck in the corner. Wait for her to block. There we go. One, two, three, four. Unblockable special two. 
I did use a 150% cosmic power back uh, just for speed. Uh, it was almost too much power as you saw. And then that spe second special 2 finishes the fight. Next up we have a torch on node 41. So this is pretty much similar to the silver surfer fight. Um, I kind of want to avoid Torch getting to that special one uh, because it places the unsteady debuff on us since he's tactic. Uh, and you know, if we get it on us, it's not that big of a deal. We can just wait it out. But the glancing will prevent Hulklings unblockable from triggering. So we we just I don't really want to have to deal with any of that. So uh, we get the special two off before he has a chance to launch the special one, and then uh, patiently waiting here, and then special intercept with the special two again. And he doesn't get a single special off, and he's dead. Last, but certainly not least, is a Nimrod on node 46. This is a Nebula fight. So there are kind of two ways that you can approach this fight. There is the slow and safe way, which is what I do here. And that is you want to hold at least five amp charges at all times, play stun immune, and only suckle your special threes. This is going to basically disable not only the node, but everything about uh, Nimrod's abilities as well. Uh, like I said, it's very slow. Um, you know, in a, in a lengthy fight, a lot of things can go wrong. So the other way that you can kind of play this, and, and if I have to do this fight again, I think I'm going to take this option the next time. Uh, it's faster for sure, but riskier. So while the overcharge passive is active from your special 3, build back up to your special 2, and then parry just after he switches protocols. And, th and that, that is important, uh, because he gains the armor up on the start and at the end of the, of the Titan protocol, I think it is, the blue one. Um, so if you parry and special two in that uh, like 11 second window between protocols uh, He will not have a chance to gain an armor up and thus not have a chance to glance any of those special two hits uh, And then that should end the fight and if it doesn't end the fight Then you've got a, a bit of a problem <laughs> because you have to then build back up your amp charges. So Like I said both ways uh, Definitely fine. You know, this is a rank 4 Nimrod. My nebula is only rank 3 uh, and I'm still not really in a danger of timing out. So, um, you know, the safe, slow option that I'm doing here, absolutely, uh, you know, a, a perfectly good way to take this fight. And I think, uh, you know, after after my my incident with Maw earlier, I didn't really want to take any unnecessary risks. So, um, yeah, so we use about half the fight time here, uh, but really, you know, no problem. A uh, lot of our health taken in block damage, which kind of sucks. So uh, my my big blunder against Ma ended up not costing us at all in this in this war. We do get the win, four kills for me. Shout out by the way to DLL for cleaning up on that Ma with his doom. Appreciate that dude. And uh, one death for me. So you know, RIP Deathless Season. Record stands at two and zero. Oh. Onward and upward, as I said before, uh, just, uh, you know, continue learning and getting better. Folks, if you enjoyed this, please let me know by hitting that like button. And as always, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again next time.